At the beginning of the film, we're introduced by seeing this faster than light ship brought the people all the way from Earth to Bandora. Let's look at it. Some interesting engineering going on here. Cool. What, what do you think these balls are? Yeah, Is interesting. So either either gas, not like not like gasoline gas, but like gaseous gas. Because then you get the largest surface area, the largest volume for surface area, largest air surface area, so largest volume for surface area. That or maybe liquids, just hold them in a spherical ball. Okay. What do you think these red things okay. on top? Can you go back engines, like, right? a little bit? I'm not sure. Now. Like I think so, but then if you go back a little bit, like yeah, yeah, right here, you see these like heat lines. Like looks like looks like a, like a toaster oven. Like getting like rid of thermal heat yeah and these plates here that mm -hmm. looks like some kind of thermal radiative cooling so, so i wonder if this, this is, is it's just the engine's this, hot the engine's hot also maybe maybe to keep the cryopods cool you have to extract the heat and so you got to dump it somewhere they dump it into these radiators mm -hmm. i think so cool it's like a toaster oven in space. <laughs> so interesting that the structure here is so long and thin. That's right. Mm -hmm. So I guess that means it doesn't, the ship does not turn very much because it would not have a torque required to do this. So it's like a straight shot ship. Yeah. Interesting that they made it rigid. You'd think it'd be more cable like given that it's a pull ship. What do you mean pull ship? So the well, let's look at the let's keep going. See if we can get a better picture. Very cool. Supplies. Very cool. Ooh, a ship. That's the drop ship. Very cool. Mm -hmm. So I guess the first yeah. thing is establish which direction is the ship going. Yeah, in fact, let's bring up a picture right here. This is this is this is failing. <laughs> you can just zoom in it. Zoom in the picture. Okay, here we go. Cool. So, which direction is it traveling? I think it's going to the left in this picture. Oh, that's my hunch. Picture. And then this is an engine, and then this is an engine pulling mm. the ship to the left. And then a lot of the payload is back here. Hmm. Is that right? Yeah, I buy it. I buy it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It looks like the, so, the ship and then all the pods are in there. Mm -hmm. So if we go back to this picture, the ship is being pulled to the left here, and this section is under tension. I see. Okay, so then when we, if you go forward a little bit, that's where we're seeing the ship in the that the, we're seeing Pandora and the planet in the reflection mm -hmm. of this of the solar panels, because yep. they're they're flying like backwards from our perspective. Yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. I, I'm on board. So it's interesting that this is rigid, with like, you think it would be like a cable, so it could have lots right. of play without breaking. And then it'll yep. always pull the ship forward because the tension only goes along the cable. That's right. Hmm. But said they have these girders that if there's any torquey business or bendy business, I feel like this is going to snap. Whereas if it was a cable and you get you get some un you get some turny business going, well, you turn it and then you can make adjustments back. You're not going to. Interesting. Whoosh. Although with cable, that's effectively a single point of of uh, of, the, of contact. It's not like a three sided thing. So then, if the engine turns, the ship might not. And then this could get really out of control and it could just yeah. shear itself. Hmm. That's right. So you'd have to you'd have to have coordination between rotating maneuvers mm -hmm. back here and the and the ship in front. But I think you still right. have to because you can't rely you on this to, to you, no you can't way. rely on this to create the torques for you. You're creating this no long way. thing and you're 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 twisting it. And then the moment arm from the center axis out to the the farthest of this of this long rod, like mm -hmm. no way, that's a tiny radius that's going to get twisted right. off. Yeah, twisted. Mm. So they must it's have. Cool that it's 
Yeah, go ahead. It's cool that it's a pull ship, though, because like, yeah, we our our spaceship have thrusters in the back, mm-hmm. um, which which I guess is a lot of compression force along the inside yeah. of the ship, which things are not so mm-hmm. good at. Mm-hmm. Whereas with a pull ship, like you pull it tight, and then you can stay at a constant force. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I guess it's stronger. I guess at least steel is steel is stronger. It's still still stronger under tension or compression, or it doesn't matter. Tension. It's yeah, so that's tension. I learned this about concrete buildings. You use concrete because it's very good for compression, like it's, mm-hmm. it'll hold its weight, but it's not very good at shearing, and mm-hmm. and not very good at stretching. So you put okay. the you put the steel structure inside the concrete, so then you get a best of both worlds. I see. Interesting. I would have thought that uh, to me, steel would feel like it would come apart quickly under tension, but I guess that's completely wrong. Interesting. Quick compared to something else, but not oh, yeah, as compared quick compared to, to concrete. Okay, yeah, it's really a comparison game. Mm-hmm. So if this is some advanced metal under tension, mm-hmm. that makes sense. Interesting, interesting ship design. Super cool. Mm-hmm. However, inside the ship, they have these cryopods, and it's just hazard. What are they doing? In cryo, you don't dream at all. Doesn't feel like six okay. years. That's cool. Okay, there's a new crowd pump. <laughs> Opening. It's like he's bouncing around. You see that? Yeah, it's crazy. Like, I want this okay. chiropod to like strap, strap me down. There, Keep me tight. That's right. Because if there is some kind of turbulence or unforeseen situation, and he's He's got so much play. He's going to be like forward, right. backward, left, and right. And like his head, like his head hits the container, like dink, brain damaged, movie's over. <laughs> right. And you're in a cryo sleep situation, so you want to be tied down. You want nothing, mm-hmm. you don't want to move, move at all. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I guess they're not expecting any turbulence in space. <laughs> but like, but still, like just strap people down. I mean, in airplanes, we have seatbelts. I mean, we don't want turbulence, but we say, put your seatbelt on just in case. Yeah, sure. So if they put these straps on just for unforeseen things, so that if there is unforeseen things, they just strap you down well, and you don't point. go anywhere. Because if they're truly in space and like we're not going to have any turbulence, then why strap people down at all? Right. Just put them in the tube. And if you're going to have these just-in-case safety measures, do it, do it right. Then do it. Strap them down. Watch how, yes, yeah, he's so loose. Like, wow. Completely just floating around. But he can actually just like, slip oh, out actually, of there. Actually, what's stopping him from floating sideways? Like, I guess from his head no, to his no, feet. Yeah. Like, he could be sliding inside the pot. Were there, sunshine? That's right, nothing. And he's if, if nothing is arresting his horizontal sliding, then dink, hit his head on the glass there. That's right. If turbulence were left and right here, or whatever, unforeseen thing, his head would slam into the into this. Well, heck, even not not even turbulence. Just when the when the cryopod is extending out, he gets some left or right momentum from this perspective. What yeah. slows him down here? Like, are his feet hooked in? Like, he actually should hit his head here. He should hit his head. I mean, I guess unless he has some friction with the belts, happenstance, but. But then there should be tension on those belts. I mean, I guess there, there's a little bit of tension in the belts because he's happens to be pushing up against him right now. But well, well, let's watch it. Let's, let's watch it. So okay. if there's tension in the belts, then they, they should lean a bit, like right? It shouldn't be uh, nine degrees yeah. to the bed. And so what's, what slows him down? Oh, maybe. Okay, maybe. Okay. Maybe. You know, he may be, he may be anticipating it. And so he's like hooked his, he knows that he needs to have a he's, little bit of tension. He's, he's gripping with his toes. <laughs> or like maybe right here, it looks like there's some. But okay. It's unsafe. Yeah. It's unsafe. Unsafe. Also, also cryopods, they're double stacked. Like there's somebody yeah. underneath him too. If, yeah, you could totally see it like right here. Yeah. Why not do a one to one situation? One to one. Like your your pod partner farts, farts and you just for the next six years you're breathing it in like bummer like, yo <laughs> that's a lot of trust that's a, actually before you you take off for the planet somebody hotboxes you with a fart God. 
That's right. Like, they're like, there's a delay. Well, Please sit tight for an hour. You're like, oh, 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 God. And you get into a fart war. That's right. Who, who's more rancid? Right. As if you could do that on command. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> like, that's your superpower. Like, nasty fart, activate. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, he got bacteria. Get, get, get to work. And they Overdrive. Just conjure, yeah, they just conjure up this nasty... <laughs> I was a wizard. That's, that's the only spell I would do. <laughs> I'm, all, I'm also noticing they have these uh, cr- uh, the gas cylinders here. Uh-huh. Uh, they need to centralize that system. Why, why? Why are we doing individualized gas cylinders? Hmm. They have to. They yeah. have to put them in all of these. Make one big tank and have a host. So you don't yeah, have to keep oh, that's, replacing. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I thought it would be like a modular issue because then you could just strap however many of these you want. You, but then actually you just make a hose fitting that straps up to a single line. That's yeah, right. Yeah. And that because like the workers for this would be like, oh my God, we got to replace all of the gas cylinders right now. Maybe it's like a union <sighs> job. So they're like, we, we will not update. We want to keep We're not an update. Yeah. yeah. And then you forget to open a valve. People die. Yeah. You're like, God, I forgot to open the valve. You could have a centralized system. Yeah. Effed up. 